We know that our frontline communities face unprecedented threats through structural inequities in our economic system and gaping holes in our social safety net. As the COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated these inequities and brought them to a crisis point this past spring, Push Buffalo took immediate emergency action. The mutual aid program became a reality because of the flexibility, agility, and willingness of our staff to do what was right and what was needed in a moment of economic hardship and during a global pandemic. It also harkens back to our founding philosophy. We know what we want where we live. The community's marching orders to us were crystal clear. Through mutual aid, we were able to provide food for approximately 3,500 families, $26,000 to local cooperatives and small businesses, $58,000 in direct support to 164 households for things like rent and utilities, delivery or access to prescriptions, transportation, financial support for healthcare, household supplies, technology, legal and social services, nutritional needs and more. Rent relief to our 99 residential and five commercial tenants. Total relief was over $100,000. And we qualified for $46,500 in pass-through funding to other local organizations. Regardless of the COVID-19 pandemic, we continued to show up. We rolled up our sleeves and we got to work. Here's just a few of the projects that we'll be highlighting this morning that we're most excited about. Since PUSH's inception 15 years ago, we've been visible throughout the community in the streets, knocking on doors, and engaging with community members about their greatest needs. One thing that we've heard over and over, time and time again, is the need for quality, affordable housing. Currently, PUSH has 99 units of affordable housing, but we're excited to be working on our biggest project yet, 49 units of high quality, sustainable, affordable housing. We're calling the project West Side Homes. We're also partnering with Best Self Behavioral Health to designate 30% of the apartments for homeless individuals and families with a substance use disorder or severe mental illness. We currently have over 600 households on our waiting list and new families are applying every day. With the impending eviction crisis, we know that affordable housing is more important now than ever before. Before moving to School 77, I was living on the east side where I'd been for 25 years. Uh, and uh, after being evicted from a, from a place where I was for seven years, the house was sold. Uh, I moved to a, uh, an apartment in the back of a church and the, the minister was the renter. It turned out to be horrible. The minister was just about money. The, uh, the apartment was, was, a, was a disaster. There was, no f there was no heat for two weeks, no furnace. There was no hot water for a month. And so I heard about PUSH and put an application in uh, October, November of 2018. The situation here at PUSH is uh, terrific, you know, and just, for, for, you know, a radical change in my own situation. Uh, and I think considering the conditions in our society for, for, for push to expand and to offer more housing is just a, a great thing. Uh, and I hope that they, they just continue to grow, you know. We recognize that there is an economic shift underway towards an economy that is community controlled, just, and sustainable. We're proud to be amongst those who are creating the new economy here in Buffalo, New York. Worker cooperatives can provide living wage jobs, generate and retain community wealth, and cultivate leadership in communities most affected by inequality. That's why PUSH decided to collaborate with Cooperation Buffalo, an organization I'm proud to have co-founded. Through education, business training and incubation, programs like the Cooperative Academy through Cooperation Buffalo grow worker cooperatives, which create a sustainable economy for all of us. We are starting a Black-owned credit union here in Buffalo. Uh, we decided to, to embark on this journey about 
six months ago in June, right around the time when there was a lot of political and social unrest uh, surrounding George Floyd's death and murder. And we were both looking for ways to make uh, impact in our community and make a change within our community. And my sister came up with the idea of starting a black owned credit union, a way for our communities to give back or a way for us to give back to our community, for us to have ownership within our communities through home equity uh, and build generational wealth as well as learn different financial products that are available to people of color within the community. What we've learned from being a part of the Cooperative Academy over these past few weeks has been a wealth of knowledge, things that you just couldn't learn in a four-year school. I mean, it would have taken us much longer time to actually have grown and developed the way we have. Truth is, when, with our co-op, we are building the community and we're giving them back their financial power. Through a credit union, that's essentially what we're doing. We're inviting our members to become a part of something that's so much bigger than themselves. We're inviting them to create generational wealth. We're inviting them to take back their financial power and learn how to create, build, invest. Um, and we believe that most of the co-ops in the academy are doing the same thing. We're all looking to give our community back their power, back the wealth that is in our communities, but for some reason, maybe we've gotten away from that concept. So with this, with building co-ops in Buffalo, that's essentially what we're doing. We're looking to strengthen our communities and build them back up. 271 Grand Street originally served as a public library and was unfortunately closed due to budgetary constraints in December 2005. With the help of the City Council member David Rivera, the building reopened in 2006 as a nonprofit incubator for two community development organizations, the Massachusetts Avenue Project, or MAP, and Push Buffalo. In 2009, 271 Grand Street became the home of the Grand Street Neighborhood Center, or GSNC. The Grand Street Neighborhood Center's mission is to provide an open, safe, and productive community space with resources and programs that respond to express community needs. 271 Grand Street is currently undergoing much needed updates to the building, including making it handicap accessible. However, we've recently relaunched programs from Pushes HQ and School 77 in a way that is safe for everyone. In the midst of a global pandemic, the GSNC has more activities, offerings, and classes than ever before. The GSNC is home. It's home away from home. And the reason why it's important is because it's what the community asks for. So every day we try to meet the young people where they're at and give them programming that can help them grow into caring community members. In the 14213, we have some of the severest poverty rates, not only in Buffalo, but in all of Western New York. We also have some of the lowest academic and graduation rates in all of Buffalo. But that doesn't quite paint the picture clearly. Imagine coming from a new country where you have to learn a new language and you have to forge a new identity. Imagine your parents finally settling down, getting you a house, providing you with clothes, and sending you off to school to get an education so that you can better your life. And as soon as you walk through the door, they make fun of you for what you wear, for what you look like, and how you talk. Now imagine coming home and walking through a door where you're greeted with a smile and you're greeted with people that care about you. And if they don't speak the language, they can find somebody who can speak the language and can help tutor you and help open a new pathway so that you can forge your own identity, so that you can make mistakes and can ask questions in a safe environment, and that you can actually truly envision a better future for you and your family. At PUSH, the GNC represents a seed. It represents hope and it represents the future. Not only in our mission do we wish to mobilize residents to create strong neighborhoods, but we wish to mobilize our youth. The youth's voice is often the most marginalized in any development process. And so we want to bring their voice into this process and we want to help usher them into the process so when they become adults, they can carry on the torch that we started here today.